Hello, it's Saturday, September the 19th, and today's passage is going to seem like it's very redundant. And I think I may have said this in a couple of the other devotions, but Proverbs has a redundancy in it. If you read through verse after verse after verse and chapter after chapter, you will hear some of the same principles stated again and again because repetition is one of the ways that we learn. So I hope you'll be patient as you hear this passage, knowing that it is sequential. We're following into chapter 15, but this is a principle that Solomon has mentioned a number of times, although there be some little new nuances to it today. Proverbs 15, verses 31 through 33. The ear that hears the rebukes of life will abide among the wise. He who disdains instructions despises his own soul. But he who heeds rebuke gets understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. These are great principles, a warning, a guideline, a a posting on the, the road of life for each one of us to follow, that the ear that hears the rebukes, the wise counselors that we talked about just a couple of days ago, the person that hears that, they themselves will abide or dwell amongst the wise. But he who does not listen despises his own soul. Now, sometimes we think when people don't listen, it's because they don't respect or they despise the people who are talking. And that could be true. But to refrain from adhering to and applying biblically sound counsel, the only reason would be that you don't truly treasure your own life in terms of being a gift of God. You despise yourself. Not because you sit there consciously and act like you hate yourself, but your actions indicate you're not acting in your best welfare. Although you might think you are. Again, which goes back to Solomon's warning, there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. If you're creating your own destruction, that's the same as hating yourself. So to disregard counsel, to disregard advice, to not listen to a friend say, hey, you better slow down there, or you better watch out, or you need to stop that. To not listen to that is putting you on a path of self-determination without the insight of others that will be just the same as if you hate yourself. But then he says, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And then that great phrase at the end, before honor, which is what we all want, is humility. So who honors the humble? Well, sometimes the world does not. Sometimes the world, and maybe even your family members and your friends, will see humility as a weakness, as something they can then walk over or they can steamroll. But in the eyes of God, to be honored by God begins with a humble heart. Humble before Him, which is why David wrote in um, Psalm 51, a broken and contrite heart, O Lord, you will not despise. Humility and brokenness before God is a virtue. It is a life-enhancing trait. Uh, It honors God, and God will honor that. In the book of James, we find out that God gives grace to the humble, uh, excuse me, in Peter, grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. And why does he resist the proud? Because the proud isn't listening to him and won't receive help and won't receive counsel. So today, once again, the warning is, listen to those who are giving you counsel. Be humble. Apply it to your life. And remember, the fear of the Lord is where it all begins. Well, I hope you've had a great week and that you'll be in church tomorrow. And if you can't be with us tomorrow, that you'll join us on live stream. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for these powerful principles that remind us again and again that our heart and mind and ears should remain open to the counsel of wise people, of godly people. And we need to apply it to our own lives, lest we have the same result as if we hated ourselves by bringing in destruction. So give us humility. Help us not seek honor, but to practice humility and allow you to bestow honor when it fits your your plans for our lives. Please bless every person who took part in today's devotion, for we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.